Hello YouTube, happy July. This, this video is actually a little bit late. Um, I've been working a lot, traveling, and I'm finally getting around to it on July the 7th. 7722. Um, well, happy summer, everybody. Uh, here is the precious metal spot prices for the end of June. Um, they may be a little bit lower now. So gold dropped it, uh, the last day of June to 1809.50 per ounce, down $36.15 per ounce month over month from the end of May. So that's interesting. Now, silver, that's interesting too. $19.94 per ounce it dropped down to. Um, it dropped $1.88 in the last month. Um, I actually nibbled on something the very beginning of July. And I will tell you about that in a little bit. And then finally, the one ounce gold to silver ratio. One ounce now of gold equals 90.77 ounces of silver. It's up 6.18 ounces from last month. So, I mean, that kind of tells me that um, buy silver. Silver's looking really good right now. That is pretty unbelievable. Um, so that'll be an interesting tidbit. This month i bought two items so this should be very very simplistic this video on my ongoing uh quest i should say to buy eight reels coins from 1772 to present day libertads i bought two of them in fact before i do that for those who have never been here before, here's my stacking goals. You could read through them, just lower my cost averages, obtain a meager 62 ounces of silver and one and a half ounces of gold, continue my ongoing sets. As you can see, eight, are co eight real coins. I got two more of them this month. And look out for more deals on precious metals, which I did find. Um, and then basically, again, what I stack versus what I collect. And you could read through that. I'll pull back here so you can kind of see it. Buy something low, sell it higher if I'm just going to stack it versus what I collect like these things. So, all that being said, back to business. My eight reels coins, I bought an 1852 Mexico City eight reels coin. It's in almost uncirculated 58, pretty damn good grade. I got this for $105.50. Pretty amazing, actually. Um... I got it on eBay. It was fantastic. Um, so, I only buy graded coins. And by graded, I mean you have to see a grade. It can't be a damaged coin. It needs to have a physical grade because I want to have a physical complete set of eight reels coins from 1772 on up to the present day Libertad. So, this is an 1852, which is a difficult year to find. But I found it. So I was happy about that. And last but not least, this one's a beaut. 1863 MS62, Mint State 62 coin. Um, it's a PCGS shielded coin. Um, you know, I'll be honest with you. I have no idea what that means. And maybe somebody could tell me in the comments. Um, aside from the fact that maybe whoever graded this coin paid for the shielding. Um, and maybe you get something different for it. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe it's a uh, premium coin. I don't know. But I know this grade is very difficult to find MS-62. Um, you know, MS-62 and an 1863. Pr pretty, pretty incredible. Um, I paid for this coin $192.79, which, believe it or not, is extremely reasonable. Um, so these are two more that I add to my stack. So let me pull that up. Here is my checklist that we have seen many times if you've been on my videos. So um, let's start with the 1852 right there. That is the 1852. I get to kind of check this puppy off. That one's done. Then we go to the next page. You can see my gaps. So that's one more gap that was filled and it's getting harder and harder and harder to find these coins, guys, especially for decent prices. Um, 1863, I paid $192.79, and boop, boop, that one is now crossed off as well. And I'll pull back from this one, you can kind of see where I'm at. 
I need an 1875 right here. I need 68, 69, 64, 65, 62. These are difficult to find. These gaps in here, here's a couple gaps here, and you know, it just keeps going and going. You could see, I mean, I need all of these, 1910 through 1919. I got some clumps in here. So this is where I'm at. Anyway, this is what I've gotten for this month. I didn't pick, pick up any gold. You saw my other types of numismatics and that's how much I paid for them. I did not get any rounds, bars, or numismatic bullion, which let, let me tell you, I found a deal on JM Bullion for um, the beginning of July. I think it was the first or the second. I paid by check. It's cheaper. Um, I bought a 10-ounce bar, which I will show you next month because it's going to take probably two weeks for it to get to me at least. Um, no tax on it in the state that I'm in. So I paid, I believe, 200 I want to say like $238, which... The reason I bought it is in lieu of the fact that um, I needed some silver. And what I mean by that is when you look at my goals, I'm trying to get at least 62 ounces this month or this year. I am at two ounces the entire year. So add, this just keeps, keeps zeroing out, zeroing out, zeroing out. I got two. My cost average is still 23.80. So I think, I think I paid 200, $238 for it, which means it won't really move my cost average too much, but I get to add another 10 ounces to this. It was all I could afford for next month. This month, going into next month, um, maybe the only thing I get for next month, which is fine. If you could see, I've been kind of keeping my um, cost basis between two and three hundred dollars, um, doing some other things, bought a house, did all that good stuff, bought a new house, I should say. So you know that takes precedence sometimes, but um, that's where I'm at in regards to this month. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and thank you so much. As usual, guys, have a wonderful July. I hope this summer is going well for everybody around the world, and um, talk to everybody soon. Ciao.